What is going on guys? Gotti360 coming at you with another video this fine Tuesday morning. I want to touch on something that I was thinking about this morning. So I woke up this morning, I pour my coffee, and I start watching Kid Smooth's $1,000 Sekiro Challenge, which hats off to Smooth. He's grinding through it, and he's getting through it. It's funny to look at the comment section, all the people trying to tell him what to do. People that probably have never even played a From Software game. It's funny because a lot of these gamers are spoon-fed gamers. And what I mean by that is I remember the good old days when you had four lives, five lives to beat an entire game. You had to figure out move sets. If it was a platformer, you had to figure out these, you know, you had to memorize the platforms. You had to actually put some effort into beating a game and those days have long surpassed us so when a from software game comes out people are almost shocked at the difficulty and it becomes this special special thing it becomes bragging rights on social media it just becomes this whole new world but for me why i'm drawn to them and i never played them i never played demon souls i never played the first two two uh, dark souls games my first From Software game was Dark Souls 3. Um, that being said, what draws me to these games is the difficulty. It is learning the boss's movesets. It is grinding through and dying time after time again to finally get that final kill shot where you blast your sword through their neck and blood sprays everywhere and you get that feeling of accomplishment. It reminds me of the old days when you finally beat a game. You could go to school when you were in third grade and tell your buddies, yeah, I beat it. And they, they, they look at you like you're crazy because you grinded through it and you got through it. And that's the, that's the attraction for me anyway to From Software games. I wish there were a lot more challenging games like these games because to me that's what gaming is all about. Nowadays you can just shoot, stab, punch, kick, pounce your way right through these games to the point that there's not even challenging. Think about how many games you've played where you've died four or five times through an entire 15 hour campaign where's the challenge in that and I know a lot of you guys are you're gonna be casual gamers and you don't want a challenge so I get that too but not for me I like the challenge I want the challenge and um, for me that's what these games provide that makes them stand out from the competition so this game right here Sekiro obviously amazing I know there's a lot of uh, coverage of this game but um, I just picked up the PC version as you've seen from my last video and I'm loving the shit out of this PC version. It's leaps and bounds better and a much more enjoyable experience. But uh, anyway, that's where I'm at with the guys. I just wanted to touch on that real quick. The tr attraction to From Software games is in the challenge and in the satisfaction you get from finally beating the games reminds me of old school gaming, old school grind and all that type of thing. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Chime off. I'm going to let you guys go. Gotti360. Keep it gaming.